All right, so we're going to do some Python today, but we're still going to keep working on the um, building the solver. I think last time I went over that I used the version that matches up with um, pulp, the version of pulp that I'm using. It's got the same output, um, or close to the same output, and I fixed the... Uh, objective, I think it's called, to maximize instead of minimize. So, got that working. There is a few more issues. And, um, am I in the right place? No. Uh, not there yet. I might have to rebuild it with, uh, for a stable version for Wasm, but, um, Maybe not. I think it's a good idea probably to use, to not use like the latest copy of the code. Um, unless you're just like trying to f make a pull request or whatever, but uh, I don't know. Um, or you need like a feature that is that exists only in the, the latest copy. Anyway, so what I got was a, um, I made a few changes, uh, mainly to the formatting. So let me load that up. CBC, CBC, what's here? Examples, minimum. Oh, it's a, it's, I'm doing CD, that's why it's not showing up, I think. Minimum, yeah. Let me go through this really quick. I kind of forgot. So yeah, I have the set object sense to maximize. That's negative one. This I have. I don't think that helps either way. Um, still not sure which one to use here. True or false? I'll go with true. Um, another thing is the subjective value. I'm printing that out. I'll get to that in a minute. I think that was it. And then I changed, I don't know if I went over this last time, I changed some of the formatting here so that it matches up. Um, that actually doesn't matter for the end result, but, uh, which I'll show in a minute. At least I don't, I don't think it matters, but it matters to compare, uh, without I guess I could compare without um, without looking at white space, but whatever. I'm comparing with looking at white space. Okay, so that's pretty good. So a few more things I have to do. I'll go over those right go over those right now. Make this larger. Alright, so let me open up pop bulb actually. I put all these um, dependency projects, well, all the projects and the, the main project and dependencies in a um, in a, uh, a folder, so I could just search the whole folder in VS Code if I need to. So let me open that, up. and then um, where else? Pull. Coming back to this. Um, I did realize last time, or when I was working on it outside of the stream a little bit, I realized I probably should have looked more into this read solve. And that's like the thing I'm trying to create and then like go backwards from there. I did look at it though, and maybe the reduced cost would have helped me um, possibly, although that's like one of the main values in shadow prices. But I looked into shadow prices and I... I don't see it matching up with the things I'm outputting. So, I mean, I like I like did a search in um in this uh whole or in this folder that contains all of the um projects, and I could not find something that I found shadow prices, but it didn't seem to match up with what I'm trying to do. So I think this name would have been actually confusing for me. But that is uh, something I definitely should have done. I didn't do last time. Uh, one thing I definitely need to do is work on this status. 
So that's the next thing I'm going to work on. Uh, but before that, there's another thing. So I actually kind of decided, I think I'm going to go with no files being saved. I think it'll just go faster and be easier. I'm just going to deal with strings because I don't need to do files. And so I just did a little test code in, um, let's see how this works. And this is for, I think, line and file. But for a string, I think I need to do dot .split uh, slash n there. So I'll leave that there. And the way I'm creating the string has slash n at the end, so that should be fine. I don't have to worry about slash r or slash n or anything like that, I don't think. But we'll just see if it works. Another thing, too, is... Um, let me see this, actually. So val and dj, so val and dj. So yeah, these, I'll show how this works in just a second. So another thing I did was I uh, created, I built what I'm currently using, or run it, and then I'm passing that to, or I'm directing the output to um, the out.sol, doesn't matter what you call it. So there's that, and then I take that and um, I run this replacement command, and this is just for comparison, because if we do cat um, out.sol, um, it'll see these R's and these C's, and it'll say, um, it'll basically say uh, every line is different. So it'll be really hard to see a comparison, at least in the command line. Um, so I just did a replacement, so it looked, so the top section is R's, the lower section is C's, and then the actual one that we're comparing it to, uh, test saw, the bottom section is X and the top section is C, so I basically just did a, use, uh, said, replace, and the command looks like this, it's SED, Dash E for I think extended uh, regex regex, um, and then the replace part. I'm replacing something with a C. I'm capturing that uh, the rest of that, uh, and then going up to the first white space. So that would be, I mean, say that's a C, going up to here, and stopping there, and then capturing everything before. So just the numbers. And I'm replacing that with. Uh, with an X, and then uh, if you do slash one, that'll be the first thing you captured, which will be this part. Um, and then G and then out dot sol, and then I'm piping that into another thing, dash E. I think I need this dash E because, um, I don't know, I just read to do what I'm trying to do. Maybe you need it, maybe you don't. I actually didn't try without it. So we'll see. So dash E and then S R. So this is going to replace C and then everything after it with R. And then, I don't know, this is replacing C, everything after it with X, everything after it. And then, um, so that'll do the, that will do the bottom section. And then top section, I need to do that second because I'm converting that to a C. So I can't do that first. And so the bottom section, um, r dot plus slash s uh, up to the sp slash s is a space character, so it goes up to that, and then c, and then again the one is for the first capture, which is in parentheses, and then I'm directing that out to test dot sol. So that'll basically just rename this to. Both command names or names uh, or replaces X's with um, X's with sorry it replaces the C's down here with X's and the R's up here with uh, C's so then it has basically the same format and then we if we do a git diff uh, test dot sol and test sol dot sol so there's very few differences now um, and the ones I'm going to work on. Oh, hey, Schoolie, how's it going? Um, so the only real differences is this top section. So we have this objective uh, value, 
And I'm going to look again in, in this pulp and see how exactly this is read in. But really, if you look, the only difference is, I'm not sure why it's showing these. Why is it showing that, actually? These should not have any difference. But the difference here is, um, oh, I guess it just shows all the lines up until the last difference. And then it goes a few more lines for some reason, I guess, to give you some context of where you're at. I don't know how exactly that works. But um, so here's all the lines. Those, those all match. And then this one is different. And this is the only one that I'm concerned with because it, it should be a negative zero. So I might have to look back at how things are printed out and maybe if it's above a certain value, it just becomes zero, I don't know. Or maybe um, also I might try a different, because um, this is using the stable version, which is 2.10, but I don't, and maybe, I don't know exactly what version it is. I actually have to look that up. Uh, maybe if I use the newest one, it'll work differently. I don't know. So. For now, I'm not going to rebuild um, the Wasm version to the stable. I'm just going to use the one I have and see what happens um, and go from there. Because I think really the issue I was having was I wasn't maximizing. I think that was the main issue, more so than the version, but uh, I'll still look at that too. Okay, so, oh, and, and the reason I was getting a different output in like the command line is like the newer version has different command line uh, arguments. I think you passed to it, maybe. I don't know. Anyways, so going back to this, um, so this I'm not too worried about. Um, I think I'm just going to leave it as is because this is a really small number and I don't think this will affect anything and it's basically zero. Um, so this is the one that I'm working on now and this is the command line one or the one that worked through pulp by default. So I don't think it matters that much. I'm not too worried about that. Same thing down here. So my main concern is this line here, how it's 26 instead of negative zero or 26.75. And then I have to, I have to work on um, this line because um, it's actually read in. I'm not sure. Twice. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, this line, uh, I have to work on that because that's actually read in here under get status. So get status, if you go in here, it's read in as optimal and feasible integer unbounded stop. So it's actually reading in, if we go down here, it says status strings, I guess, is read line split. So it's taking the first line and it's just like breaking it off um, or no, this is taking the first line of the file, and this part of it is splitting it by space, uh, white space. So this zero refers to um, this column here, this first one, zero, one, two, three, et cetera. And then um, And the uh, one, this would be one, this would be two, and this would be three. And the same, and that this is just for the status line. So I need to look into exactly what's going on here. But um, going back to reading the rest of it, where is that? Uh, read, read solution. So after we get past the status line, which I'm going to come back to. This is for each line. And uh, so zero would be the column. Um, one would be the name. And I guess that makes sense. VN. Um, I wonder what this is. Reverse VN. Variable names, items. Okay, interesting. So I was thinking like reverse VN. Weird. Um so what I was thinking is um 
now I'm thinking this actually might not work. Maybe. Because it would not be in reverse VN, which is, I guess, a dictionary of names, as far as I can tell. So what I was thinking originally is I don't actually have to do the replacing part. Like, I could use the R and the C here and here instead of C and then X. But I might actually have to do that, unfortunately. But it's not a big deal. So I'll, I'm will i going to try it without and see if it works. But I have a feeling it's going to have an issue here. Because it's expecting certain names, I guess. Um, yeah. We'll see, though. And then, yeah. So the main thing is I need, for now, I need to do this uh, status part. There's really only two things left to fix um, as far as this. I guess the replacing the names um, that I might have to do. But other than that, um, the other main thing is I have to get this... Uh, I have to get the status line to read at least the parts that uh, pulp needs. I need it to read out like this. So let's uh, grab that and figure out exactly how that works. And I did look a little bit into this before. Um, so CBC coin or if we go to the user guide. And then go, where was that? Getting solution, yeah. So optimality can be checked through a call to model is proven optimal. So I think I can check for is proven optimal. And then if I get that and I get a status of zero, then I could just print out optimal. Um, and if I get zero without that, then I can print out, I think, this. Or I could check for that, too. Uh, I looked around in, like, the code here, and I cannot find... Oh, that's a different thing. That's, that's my uh, translation thing, right? Let me see. Yeah. Um, I looked around for that, and uh, I could not find anything. Where is that? It's here. Let me actually copy that this time. So if you look at optimal, you know what? I was looking at optimal objective value. Maybe I just need to look at objective value. It might help me a little bit more. But let's look at all of it right now and uh, search for that. So it's really only in one place. And I couldn't really figure out how this would help me, really, because if we search like this, Um, I don't know. There was another section I was searching that, that helped me out a little bit more, but I just don't think this is actually going to help. Uh, let me check this, though. Subjective value. Um, let's see if I can find anything here. Ah, mm. oh, wait a second. What is this? This actually might be what I need. Write solution header. This is actually exactly what I need. Oh, nice. Okay. Wow. I'm glad I found that. Um... Well, let me see something. What's up up here? Where does this go to? Man, there's just like long sections of code in here. It's hard to like tell where something starts and where something stops. Wow, okay. I mean, this is exactly what I need. So I'm actually just gonna grab that. And what is this? CLP quote? Let's 
scaling output format. What? So it's printing out these and then dash objective value s. I don't know. Whatever. Um, oh, this just says suggested by this guy? Or does that mean he wrote it? I don't know. Whatever. As long as they're just commenting on it. Alright. Um, okay. Let's come back here. Yeah, it's pretty helpful. So I think I actually might write a function to do that. This will be like the first actual function I've written in C++ in I don't even know how long. Let's see if I can figure this out. All right, so go back to the file. And let's write a function. What should we call it? Uh, What is this called? Right solution header. So right, uh, it's going to return a string. It's going to be right solution header. Nice. Okay, let's paste. Whoa. What happened? What happened? Um, hmm. No, let me try that again. I might have to like copy this by hand. I really should spend some time to figure out how to connect this to, um, how to connect this to uh, what you call it? Connect uh, local VS Code to um, to this remote because um, that'd be a lot easier. Or I could just use my own VM instead of instead of using this remote VM, and I could like access the code from VS Code on there, but that's all right. I have, I'm not going to learn uh, what you call it right now. I'm not going to learn Vim, which would be also be helpful. So that's not going to happen right now. All right. So what are we doing here? Got a little bit sidetracked. Um, I guess what I could do is just copy that line by line, it's not that complicated. Like, write it out. So, let's go with... Uh... So, I'm going to pass in an objective value, actually. So, this will be a double objective value. And then... I'm going to pass in the status as well. And that's an int status. Okay. So if that is, is equal to zero, then Think well, I'm gonna create a string and return it here. So std string. Um uh, solution header. Um, equals I think you can do it like that. Let me fix that output really quick. Okay. And then if that, then solution header plus equals um, optimal. Is 
and then else if uh, status equals one. So this isn't quite right because, but I'll fix it. But other than that, it's pretty close. Um, so, let me think about this. Else if status is one, um, solution header plus equals infeasible. And then else if there's another list of like the, the solutions, else if status equals two, uh, solution header plus equals unbounded else if status equals three pollution header plus equals stopped on iterations iterations or time also if status some of these I probably don't even need but whatever I'll just do it all solution header equals plus equals um stopped on difficulties else if Status equals five, or we at five, yeah. Solution header plus equals stopped on CTRL C, control C. I think there's the last one. Else. Solution header, come on, plus equals status unknown. Okay. Next part does there's a space, a dash. Okay, so is this going to work actually? Right now it's printing it to a file in this code, F print off. And then it does this. I guess it's fine. I guess we're good, right? Yeah, I can just do objective value at the end. Um, how do I string interpolation C plus plus? Uh, this might be an issue. I don't think I could use C plus plus twenty. Dang. Wait, am I overthinking this? 
I'm overthinking this. What am I talking about? I can just put the variable in there. I don't need a, this is just a string, so I think. So we're good, yeah. Okay. Um, wait, no? Yeah, that's fine. You could do that, right? Well, let me see, C++ REPL. Pretty sure you could do that. Plus my var. Um, string std string string one equals um, test plus my var, and then let's say double my var equals 10 and then plus string one test plus my var invalid operands Huh. Okay. I guess that doesn't work. Hmm. Well. How do you do this? I know what to do. I know what to do. All right, this will be the. Um, instead of this, we're going to have a char pointer, I think. Um, What is this going to be? What do I call this? Status? Like status. What's a name for that? Shirt? Um, status description, I guess. Something like that. And then, oh man, find or place would be good right now. Um, let me see. So, shift that. No. How do I do this? Go to line. Dang, I don't know how to do that. Go to line is that, right? So that works. So this does not work, huh? Search to replace. Oh, here we go. Solution header. Replace with status description. All one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Wait. What did it do? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, right. Right. Solution header. All right, cool. Let me save that. Load it back again. I think this works. And instead of plus equals, I just do equals. Equals, 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 
equals something like that. Status unknown. And then I could do let's see. I could do a um print f print f. So how do I concat char pointer? String concat Okay. not work. Instead, you should have a separate variable to hold the result, something like this. You cannot change the chart pointed to by the, so anything like that will not work. Okay. Can I just do ponce char pointer? Or no? Let me just see if this even works. So const. Char pointer. Test. Test equals. Okay, and then char, char, um, result, and what are they saying? Copy string one into the results. Okay. Hmm. Copy string one into the result. Result. Str cpy. What's the first thing? Result and then the other thing. So result and then test. Does this work? Um, print f result. Use of undeclared identifier. Is that part of the standard? Hopefully. String copy. C string. Yeah, the main problem is uh, is I bet C strings are included actually somewhere. But for this, I need to include it. Can 
Now initialize a parameter of type char with parallel dire. With an L value of type plus char. Okay, so this has to be a certain length. I guess, or something. Um, okay, it's not exactly what I was trying to do, but that'll work. How long is 100? Let's see. Let's see how long that is. Yeah, I don't think it'll ever be longer than that, I hope. This is actually, all the way over here is, um, yeah, it's not, it's still not even 100. If it's longer than that, then I guess it'll crash, I don't know. We could do 200, I guess. There's probably a better way to do that, maybe not. If I could use C++ plus plus one e. Probably is, but I can't. Um, so this will be solution header. Um, const no char pointer char solution header. What is? Did we say two hundred? Wouldn't hurt. It's not that much. It's a one time thing. Just in case something weird happened. And then status description equals optimal. And then we could do a same thing I did here. So this will be result or no string copy result. Um, not result, solution header, and then uh, status description, okay, and then below that we can do, I need to start using end more, but and these page up and page down, end, home, skipping by word doesn't work, but, all right. And then string cat. Okay. Interesting. Uh, str cat solution header. Um. Can I just do this? Let me see. Do I need that? No. STR can't uh, result one. So let's put a space dash, and what was the other part? Um, objective value. They use 50 actually, I think that's what's going on. So, probably good. Objective value space and then last thing CR cat solution header would be um, the objective value objective value. And that's going to be a double, so I need to look up how to deal with that. Uh, 
Um, let's just try double. Uh, what is Hold on, C create formatted string. Yeah, this is what I want to do, not printing them. So it says this is not safe. See the comments for save. Okay, S print F. Let me just see if I'm even going to use this. I mean, that would be a way to do it, but let me just see something before I even get into that. Where is the rep bowl? There it is. All right, so double, double, my double goals 10. C plus plus convert double to string. Q string. C string. What? Oh, wait. Ooh. No non conversion from string. Okay. Man. <laughs> it's like, come on. Uh, strings. So. Um, C. Double to string. I not even need that. Let's see if I even need that. So for I don't think I need that actually the objective value 
It feels weird leaving it out. I don't really need it. At least for that. Hold on. S and print F. Does it tell you what version it runs in? Let's print up. On success, the total number of characters written is returned. Man, there's no easier way, huh? That's crazy. Let me think about this for a minute. E plus plus string and cat. Convert C plus plus string to you know what? Maybe I had it right the first time. Solution header. Status description. What's wrong there? Oh, I'm missing this. Um, status description is that. String copy. So I could just do return something like this. C plus plus convert double the string to string. So I could just do like um pollution header plus or not solution header status description plus that plus um, objective value, or I can just do the subjective value plus um, standard two string, and this will just be objective value, I think. Something like that. And get rid of this. Well, let's comment these out, I guess. Let's go home. It says description, objective value, and the objective value. That should be good. There's one other thing I need to do. based on what this is saying. 
Optimality can be checked through a call to model is proven optimal. And um, which returns zero if it finished. Oh, what is this actually? Is this, is this old? Huh. Because, what is this? Crap, this might be the wrong model. But this does match up. Hmm. Model. It's like these two things don't match up. It says one stop by the user, but that would be like five and two if difficulties arose. I don't know, man. I just don't know. I just don't know. Hmm. Found another one over here. Very similar. I need to find the one that matches up with what I'm doing. Hmm. I was searching before, I found like a list where each line described one of them. What was that? Hmm. When is stopped by the user? When was this written?
I don't know where to look exactly. What I should do is, um, That's what I was saying earlier with that. So, if value is less than, no, it doesn't help. I was seeing how you get rid of that 27 or 20, that number that does not match up. Where was that one thing? That list. How did I find that? I wish I didn't get rid of that. I think it said the same thing, but I remember searching. I started searching for this whole thing here. I'm going to close and save this for now. And. You know what? Uh, Pulp has a list here. So zero optimal solutions found. They have their own stuff going on here, I think. Not sure. I mean, those don't seem to match up. Like one definitely would be something else. Um, so I guess what I could do is, um, All right, let's just see what Pulp is doing with this stuff. So the first thing it looks for is um, status undefined. I mean, that's a default value. Um, so that's fine. So looking at the first one and then setting a default value if it's not in this list fine skip that so if it's status not solved which would be not solved is that right not solved so do I have that? I don't even have that. Oh crap. Um, not solved. Uh, that doesn't even exist. Unless it's in version 2.0. And not in the new one. How is that getting not solved though? Not solved. There's nowhere in here. Okay, let's look back at this again. If status is not solved, and that then objective is 
So if the fourth one is objective, okay, let's look at those. So the fourth, zero, one, two, zero, one, two, three. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 0, 1, 3. Wow. And I'm not even sure. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Equals if status strings four. Zero, one, two, three, four. So that's a fifth one. Uh, right. So that's, so I actually do need that number. Uh, yeah. Okay. I'm not sure what this is saying. Um, We can go back to the program I'm using. So my TFS. Solvers. Oh. That is. So it's looking for LP status optimal. Which is just optimal, I think. It seems kind of like weird how all this is done, but I guess whatever. Probably in a better way. LP status optimal would be one, but that's set. Based on the first one. And optimal, right. So that's if it says optimal. Okay. LP status optimal. Got it. So, and otherwise, is there anything else to do with the status here? Not really. Invalid constraints. Yeah. It's really, okay. So really all I care about is status optimal, really. All right, so I don't need to worry about the other. I don't need to worry about the other statuses, I guess. So the main thing I do need to worry about is um. Is there any other thing that uh, says optimal on the first one? So, no. No, none of these. Hold on, let me just double click this. Okay. All right, I think we're good. I think we just need to, I'll just leave that in place. I don't know, whatever. And, um, and I will check the other thing, which is, um, what is it? Too many tabs open. Let's just close all these, I think. Let's just close all those. Here it is. Um, 
is proven optimal. So if status is zero and is proven optimal, that'll be a Boolean. Rule is proven optimal. Okay. Oh, status description. Right, so we have, this should work, I think. Okay, cool. Um, so status description is that. This is the thing up top, objective value, two string objective value. Okay. All right, let's try it out. Man, that took way longer than I thought it would, but it's fine. Okay, so where do I wanna, here's where I wanna do it. So let's do, oh. STD string standard string um header solution header equals right or no what do i call it get solution header and let's go page up okay i don't need to go higher up actually Get solution header, so I actually need to rename that. Get solution header, objective value, status, and is proven optimal. So we'll do model, model, not get objective value, status, which is just, I have status somewhere, right? Did I delete that or what? I'm pretty sure I had that somewhere. I think it's just model.status. And then, oh yeah, model.status service. So I'm not actually gonna delete this. And, and yeah. model status and then is proven optimal I think and then we can just show solution header see how many bugs we have and fix them Where's the build line? Build commands. There it is. No bugs. Or no, uh, no, uh, compiler bugs, I guess. Um, let's get to what was the next thing? I need to run it. And let's just cat out dot saw. All right, cool. Let's take a look at that. Optimal objective value that. Okay. And then let's run that place command. And we'll do get if uh, test saw and then test saw dot saw. So there's just some rounding there. Um, I'm fine with that. I don't care. I don't even think it actually uses that, so it's fine with me. Cool. So that looks good. Everything looks good.
Everything looks good. I wonder if I extended the on the first column. If I extended the precision, let me just see if I can do that. Let's do page down. So it's down here. So instead of 15, let's try, I don't know. I mean, instead of 0 0.8, let's try 15.15. 15. See what it does. I'm just going to run it actually as is. Let's see if I get that other output. No, I'm still getting zeros. All right, whatever. I don't care. So really, that's the only thing that's broken. I'm going to continue on assuming, not assuming, just hoping um, that either that doesn't matter, even though I think it probably does, or that um, that when I use the updated version, it works better or just gives me what I need. So, let's see, I know. Nice. So, how it's working. Wow. All right, so next thing I need to do is instead of this, don't need to print that out. So, we can just get rid of that. Um, all this comes from an example, so um, no, nah, I'm just gonna make it work. I'm gonna save a copy of what I have here on my computer, and then I will clean it up and then save a copy of the new one as well. Because maybe I want some of these notes or comments. All right, so let's change this back to 15.8. And 15.8. All right, so I have some work to do now. Um, in terms of I need to have this return this whole string. So how do I do that? Hmm. Does main, uh, main has to return a number. The thing is it won't be main. Dang. Does main have to return int? I think it does. Let's say st string. Let's see if this works. <laughs> and then we'll return the string zero, I guess. I don't think it's going to work. Let's see. What? Oh, main re must return int. Dang it. I thought so. Uh, okay. So I do have a way around that. So I'll call this something else. Um, I'll call this, um, I don't know, get solution or something. Um, So in no no I had it right std string okay so int main int argc how do I copy a line 
Nano, copy line. Actually, I also want to look up light sail nano move by word. Control ray, yeah, it just doesn't work. It just doesn't work on light sail for some reason. Control does nothing. Shift doesn't do it. Alt, alt, which works in the terminal itself, doesn't work. Control shift doesn't do it. Alt shift, alt control, none of that. I don't know. All right. Um, going back to what I was doing. Copy line. Lines can be cut. And paste with control U. Okay. Let's just do a cut then. I basically just need to be able to see it in main. Uh, int argc const char arg v ray and then we're going to cut and then paste down below control u nice and then Return zero. Now we're going to call. I forgot what I named it. Page up. Now let's save this. You don't have to get out of the program to save it either. It's a bad habit, I guess. You just have to hit control S, I think, to save it. Um, what is that called? Return zero. I want to print. See out. What's going on here? Um, whatever the function name is. I guess if that works. from other function. Okay. So it's called get solution. And I did an underscore. Okay, get solution, page down, get solution. See if that does anything. Okay. Page down. So this is one issue. Let's see what the other ones are. What? Oh, I need to pass in arguments? Thought that was like optional. Guess not. Um, let's see. So that's up here. And then this is just going to take nothing, really. No arguments. OK. Let's see what it says now. Could not convert num MPS read errors. Oh, because it returned something from that, I guess. 
So back. Maybe I'll just say this is a string instead. So I don't care. There we go. And then just run it. What is that? Um, from other function, nice. Okay. So it prints all that, and then I actually want it to print, um, do I need that solution header, by the way? No, I don't. Okay. Get solution. I also want this thing to take in a file, but I can do that. Or not a file, a string. So actually, this is gonna take a string. std string ps file data or something oh you know what i might need to hold on now Read MPS. Interesting. Um, I actually might need to have a file for that. Hmm. I think I looked at this before, actually. Let's not think about that yet. Not there. Actually, I do need to think about that because if I'm saving a file one way, I might just want to save it both ways. If I'm saving the MPS file anyways, then I might just want to save uh, save the solution file too. Let's look at read MPS in here. Read MPS. Oh man, there's a lot of those. Okay. I break down the folders a little bit more so I get to search a couple of them. Hmm. Looking for the read MPS function. Like where it's defined. So read MPS, what does it return an int, I think? Read MPS.
Oh, I went past it. <laughs> Alright, it's up here. Read MPS. Yeah, it returns a number. Or an int. So we can find the definition that way, I guess. In read MPS. So it takes a file. Okay. That one takes a file, and takes a file, file. Looks like they all take files. Huh, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. So that might simplify what I'm trying to do a little bit, I guess. So I guess I could just... No, that doesn't simplify it because I still need to return a string even though it's reading. Yeah. I still need to return a string, so... It's not gonna help me. Because the C program itself, I guess it could access the file system. I just don't want to do it that way. So, yeah. All right. So, get solution. So, it returns a string. It doesn't take anything in. Um, and this actually won't. Well, yeah, it will be a standalone function. There won't even be a main in the other one, but that doesn't matter that much. Okay, so everywhere there's a, where there's a print f, I need to convert that. I guess I have to use s print f to easily do it. I don't know what else to do. S print f. And what I will do is hmm. so S print f, S print f, and Is there another sprint f? E plus plus reference. Is this the one? Didn't they used to have which versions? It Oh, is this it? I don't know. S N print F. What is this? Wait, what is that? I think I can use this actually. So C plus plus eleven. I think that's fine.
So it's the same thing. We just, for the second argument. Wait, hold on. Buffer. Okay. So at the beginning, we just need to add buffer, which is whatever. Um, hmm. This actually kind of sucks. Can you convert? Bring S. A. What? I don't get this example. Initializing a C string. This is a C string. Okay. Let me see something. Can you see out to a variable? I don't know. I guess I could use a string stream.
I'm trying to get these things. Uh, I'm trying to get those in one variable string to return it and still use the formatting. C++ string formatting. I think I look. Format is... Yeah, this is the one I could not use. Uh, okay. Yeah. So I need SN print of yeah, this kind of sucks. I'll right, we'll change all these to SN print of. And then Saving a file. Do I want to save a file? Because if I save a file, I can just do f printf. F print up. And that's really easy to use, I think. File stream. Yeah. I'm scripting C++ file access. I don't know. I definitely look more into that, but I kind of want to not do it as well. So string stream. String stream seems to be the way to go because, yeah. Yeah, all this stuff is streaming, I guess, into the stream. The arrows are pointing this way. And then you can just get that. Okay. I think that's the way to go, actually. So... S print F. Okay, so each line I'm going to stream into a string. So what was it again? We need to specify the buffer. So up here we need, I don't know. Uh, line. Hold on. Send print off. Char pointer and the size. Okay, so char buffer. Two hundred, let's say, again, just in case. 
All right. And then we're going to say SN printf buffer and then 200. And then we're going to take the buffer and dump it into this out what stream. I guess. Um, so buffer, I think. And then we'll add an end L. I think that's how we do it. Let's do the same up here. Uh, buffer 200. Create the variable for the buffer. So it'll be char buffer 200. Is that right? Something seems off about that. Oh, I think usually I'd I'll put a space there. Something. I don't know. All right, and then down here again, output dream buffer and L. Hmm. Actually, I shouldn't need the end L because it has the, the new line, I think. Let's try it without. See what we get. Okay. I can delete these for sure. That was for testing. Yeah, I'll save those down there. Okay. What else can I get rid of? Get rid of this line. Um, let's close this, reopen it. Okay. I need to create the buffer um, up here because I want to add the, uh, this thing to it. What did I call it? Output buffer? Output stream, I mean. Output stream. Output stream. Stream. Um, solution header. Okay, I was thinking, does that have a new line? I don't remember. No, it doesn't. Okay, so I'll add a new line to that. I could add one up here, but... I'll just add it. Uh, you know what, just in case, I'm going to add it down here. Oops. Go to the end. I don't know where I am anymore. <laughs> So the buffer, did I go past it? Yeah, I did. Solution header. I want to add it here because I don't know if NL will add other stuff. So, um, and I definitely just want to slash and for a new line. That's it. Okay, so that should be good. Right. Looks good. I need to create that output stream. I might as well do it at the beginning. No, I'll do it. I'll do it right before I use it, actually. No reason to do it before that. And then how do you do this? 
What is that? Where was it here? O string stream. Okay. Output stream. And at the end of this, I need to go. Oh, I did page up. At the end of this, I need to go um, return string stream or output stream um, dot str, I think. Okay, let's see what we get. Has incomplete type. Aggregate O string stream has incomplete type. What? Oh, string stream has incomplete type. Uh oh, okay. Include string stream. I hope I can use this in the current one on the version I'm restricted to. I'll add at the very top. Include a stream. I thought that might be used somewhere else, or maybe it is, and it's another issue. Okay, nice. So far, so good. So if I get an output, of the thing, I think we're good to go. That's the string, right? Yeah, so it has optimal objective value. Perfect. I think I'm pretty much done now. So two more things. Um, maybe I have to figure that out. I'll keep moving on, ignoring it for now. And then uh, possibly change these R's to C's and C's to X's. And um, see how that goes. I wonder why it's like that, though. All right. So let me see. Nano. Is proven optimal. So yeah, again, the main thing I care about is this. The optimal. Because if it's not, then it'll just whatever. Do the other stuff. This will actually never happen. This stop by control C. I can probably just get rid of it. I don't know, maybe there's a reason to leave it in there. Okay. Well, I should actually test that. Let me see if I run this and then quickly. I think it's too fast. It's too fast. Um, so model red with zero errors. So that is actually not going to be returned, so I don't really care. Everything else is perfect, but those other little issues. And also, I'm not sure if I went over this, but I ended up using the object on this part here. Not this part. This is the dual solution, I think. But this is... I was getting some weird numbers when I switched over to maximize. And that is 
Um, that is the objective. So that seemed to work. And all those look fine. OK. That's pretty cool. All right, so I want to save a copy of this just so I have all these comments that I might need, want to look at later for reference. And then I'm going to delete all of the things I'm not using and the comments that don't really help. And um, yeah, that'll be nice. I think with this stuff, sample there. I'm actually just not even going to use sample there. I just don't care about that. So I'm going to use, I'm just going to delete this right now. I'm trying to think of like little things I definitely just want to clean up. No matter what. Um, so for now, I'm just going to do like that. Is there, is there two things here? I never noticed that. Let me see this. Read MPS. Oh, there is. Interesting. Okay. All right. Um, that's cool. I won't get that warning any anymore either about the redefining sample dir. So that's cool. Looking through here really quick. I wonder if I set the log level to one, if it prints something. Nah, because that's not how I, how I want to do it anyways. All right, um, everything looks good. Except all the extra stuff. I wonder if there's any other names. It's weird because I'm printing out the row values, and except for that one thing, it's wrong. But I print out the row name. Like, why is it printing out the column name? And then below, I don't even know what X is. So that's not helpful. Like, why is it X? I guess one thing I could do. Well, before I do anything else, I'm going to save a copy. Well, let's make sure it works first. Cool. I'm going to save a copy of this. Um, so I always forget upload this thing, copy, paste. Okay, so we want to call this 
don't care about the ACL. What's the body? What? Body is just the, uh, the file name. So so this isn't gonna work. It's fine. Okay, so let's copy instead of nano. Let's copy that into here. Okay, and then just to make it easier for this part, so minimum dot cbp bucket name is bucket rp 30 key is same thing, minimum I think that works. Let's check light sale. Storage, bucket, objects, minimum, download, open in VS Code, nice, okay. Cool. And now I probably should clean it up in um here I'm actually gonna um remove that CBP. Probably should clean this up on my uh other computer, but I'll clean it up on here. Uh so like this, I don't need that is a comment that doesn't help me remove that. Do I need both of these? I think so. Yep. Oops, what did I just do? Let's redo that. Does it go, does it stay on the same line? Yeah, just the cursor disappears. Read in an example model. Um, don't care about that if defined anymore. I guess that's okay. Hmm. Care about the number of errors. Error reading PS file. And then I don't need to print that. Delete that. Delete that. I don't care about that or that. See that, that that doesn't work. It doesn't help. Don't care about that. This I can separate. That's fine. Care that 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 I'll keep. I don't understand it. 
completely, but I'll keep that. Um, I'm actually going to switch back to this since it says to use that for some reason. Dual column solution. That didn't work, right? I'm going to leave the dual column solution. I'm going to delete all these upper and lower. None of that mattered. The output stream is pretty nice. Hopefully I can use that in the one I'm restricted to, we'll see. Okay. All of this can go. Is there anything else? Anything there that's kind of uh, helpful? No. Okay, nice. It's way cleaner than it was. Cool. It's a pretty small file now. Uh, I'm wondering if I just want these things. Uh, so we have optimal, infeasible, unbounded. What else do we have? Optimal and feasible unbounded stop integer. Is that even a thing? Whatever. All right, fine. Okay. Let's make sure it still works. Nice. Cool. All right. On to the next issue, which is maybe that um i guess the next thing i want to do is actually make this work with the wasm and maybe it will just that issue can be resolved what time is it though 752 um i could definitely keep going I kind of want the next time I start streaming, I'm working on mostly Python instead of just a little bit of Python. Huh. I'm sure I'll have a lot still to do with this though. So I think it's a good place to at least take a break for now. I uh, will save that too as well. S3 and then or not, is it S3? Yeah, S3 and then um, to my computer. 
Let's delete the other one that I already downloaded. And save it again. Body, what? All right. So, nano, copy, and then to here. Try that again. And then grab it. Oh, I just deleted it. <laughs> Whoops. Did I just delete it? I just deleted it. Okay. Let's try that again. I wasn't even paying attention. Let's click the delete button. All right, cool. So I have the uh, one with all the comments and a cleaner one. And I guess next time, uh, yeah, I'll just keep going with this. But really, I want to test the uh, move a bunch of that code into the WASM part, um, which isn't a lot different. It's pretty much just there's no main, and that function itself can return a string. I'm not even sure how that's going to work or if that's going to work. I think it will, though. Yeah, it should work. And then, let me think about this. So read MPS, we already looked at that. Let me double check, we looked at that. No, not here. Yeah, read MPS always takes a file name. So, so yeah, I'm probably just gonna read from the file which is fine. Um, so I'll have to figure that part out and then send back a string so I don't have to write to a file with C, with C part of it. And um, once I get that process down, I'm sure there's gonna be some troubleshooting here. Especially like with the names, I want to test that out, see if that matters, probably does. And then the next step is to, yeah, get that whole process down to where it's actually running on MPS files from the browser. And then, um, and then compare the outputs to, uh, to the main program by itself make sure they match up or if they don't match up at least kind of close or very close all right cool so thanks for watching and next time that's the plan hopefully we'll get into the actual building of the app pretty soon but whenever it happens it'll happen and uh pretty excited about it all right thanks for watching have a good night